The MBTA is a mess, I think we would all agree. Despite years of increased investment, a month-long shutdown of the Orange Line, and an action plan from the federal government, for riders like me, the system feels slower and less reliable than at any time in recent memory. What do you consider the root cause of the MBTA's long-standing dysfunction? And come January, how would you address it? We'll begin with you, Ms. Healy. First of all, um, we don't have a functioning economy unless we have a functioning public transit system. That means our not just bridges and roads, but our rail, our commuter rail, T, buses, our regional transit authorities. These uh, systems need to be safe, affordable, and reliable. And clearly right now, that's not working across the board. Here's what I've proposed. I'm going to appoint a safety chief who is going to look at and inspect all of that and make recommendations about what we need to do. Second of all, I'm going to make sure that we are supporting capital planning, but also operations. That includes workforce right now. There are a lot of open jobs, particularly within DOT. We need to make sure that they're filled, that people are ready and available and able to do that work. We need to make those investments, and that's why my transportation plan is robust, it's comprehensive, but we've got to stop the bleeding and, and make these fixes now, now, because it goes to how it goes to quality of life, of course, it goes to Massachusetts competitiveness, and it's fundamental to moving us forward. Yeah, I don't think uh, the Attorney General and I disagree on uh, the importance of the MBTA at all. I think it just might be a, a difference in how we get there. Um, one of the things I do think is a problem in statewide beyond the MBTA is employees, lack of employees. Uh, the vaccine mandates that force people out of their jobs, they either took early retirement or they were fired, has affected not only state troopers, but it's also affected people at DCF, people at the MBTA. On day one, I rehire all of the people who lost their job because of the vaccine mandate, those state workers get their jobs back, including at the MBTA. That's why the federal government had to come in and provide oversight because of safety issues due to lack of staffing. But on top of that, I think we need to look at a longer term solution. There was the fiscal control board that Charlie Baker put in place after the blizzard of 2015 that caused major problems. I think if we take that fiscal control board and add a safety component to the uh, to what their responsibilities are, that might be a solution or potentially looking at maybe Massport. They are a cash cow when it comes to revenue, they handle transportation, they work with federal partners on transportation. Why not have them potentially look at the MBTA as a, an added component that's, to what they do? That's time, Mr. Deal. Thank you very much.